Nick and Priyanka are really happy together. If you look at their social media profiles, they are just loving on one another. They just look really happy and really happy to have found each other. Americans fell in love with Nick Jonas back in 2005 when the Jonas Brothers launched. This was his band with his two brothers, Kevin and Joe, and they began having television shows and touring and starring on the cover of many a teen magazine. In 2013, the Jonas Brothers split up. They began to have their own individual careers, and Nick began performing as a solo artist. I still get Priyanka won the Miss World competition when she was just 17 years old. Miss World 2000 is Miss India. <laughs> And then right after that, all of the film offers just started rolling in for her. You drive me crazy, I love you so. Priyanka Chopra is pretty much Beyonce back home in India. She is a huge Bollywood star, has done uh, dozens and dozens of films, and she is just known and loved throughout her country, but also in America uh, with Quantico, a TV show that just catapulted her to spotlight. Do you want to live? In this country, she has become a huge, huge star. Nick and Priyanka have a very modern love story. Of course, it started on social media, and eventually they met at an after party for the Oscars. And then, of course, everyone remembers in 2017, they both attended the Met Gala together. They didn't start dating, however, until May 2018. The couple headed to Greece to celebrate Priyanka's 36th birthday, but little did she know that Nick had another surprise in store, and he proposed shortly after midnight when her birthday was over. Nick Jonas pulled out all the stops when it came to Priyanka's engagement ring. He literally shut down a Tiffany store. He came out with a whopping uh, cushion cut diamond with tapered baguettes and she could not wait to show it off. She took to Instagram showing off this bobble. It is, it is huge and it is gorgeous. Nick and Priyanka got married in Rajasthan, India, because India is very near and dear to Priyanka's heart, and they wanted all of their family and friends to be able to attend. They had not one, but two ceremonies, one an Indian ceremony and one a Western ceremony to honor both of their families and their traditions. The venue for the event was this grand palace in Rajasthan that housed numerous ceremonies and events throughout the weekend. For the Western ceremony, Nick and Priyanka both wore Ralph Lauren, which of course was incredibly appropriate because let's not forget that 2017 Met Gala where they spent it together and wore Ralph Lauren. This is also incredibly special because Ralph Lauren has only designed wedding dresses three other times and they were all for family members. Nick, of course, has always been extremely close with his family and particularly his brothers. So all three of his brothers served as groomsmen. Adding a personal touch to the Western wedding, Nick's dad officiated the ceremony. One of the most emotional moments of the whole weekend was the Badai ceremony, where Priyanka said farewell to her mother and left to go live with her husband. Priyanka said the wedding was an amazing start to a lifetime of togetherness for our families and friends.